what we have here is my uh, pan tilt head, which normally would be hanging from the uh, from my jib like this upside down. But since we're my jib is uh, out in the garage, and this room is not nearly big enough for the jib, I just have it on a tripod. Um, we have it's radio controlled, so I use a, uh, a standard radio control unit for this, and. Uh, on here I have an HS55 receiver. I have two um, 85MG servos that have been modified for continuous rotation and um, uh, three quarter inch square uh, tube stock and uh, one quarter, I'm, I'm sorry, one inch by one quarter bar stock uh, for the cross rail. Um, get a picture of the pan motion. And the servo is just held down by some carpet tape and uh, a zip tie. So um, you can get some pretty smooth action with this and that's pretty much it. Um, what I have back here, let me just rotate this around. As long as it's on here, I can show what I built. Uh, this is a, uh, a viewfinder for the back here. Um, see if I can do this. Um, two and a half times uh, magnifying glass. And what this is made out of is a, uh, actually it's made out of, one of these, uh, just a water bottle. I cut a hole into the top and uh, and actually cut down the sides and just kind of glued flat pieces of plexi on there so it fits on the camera pretty good. And uh, put these bungees on just to hold it on. It's very simple. And the parts for this, um, minus the eyepiece, uh, were about four dollars so um, the eyepiece was ten dollars it's a Nikon eyepiece that I got from a local camera store but uh, it adds a little finishing touch to it 